WordCamp, JavaScript algos and data structures on the ES6 course on challenge 25 of 29. So today we're going to import a default export. So in the last few challenges, the last four here, we've just been working with import and export. So we just exported naturally, then we imported naturally, uh, and then we imported everything, and then we exported default. So now we're going to import default. So if you guys remember, um, looking back on how to import how to import. You can see when we import normal exports, a lot of import export going on, but when we import normal exports, so add and, and subtract were exported normally from their file. They just said export add, function, whatever. Export subtract, function, whatever, right? That's, this is, or I guess it would be export function, subtract, whatever, right? Export function adds, whatever, right? These were normally exported is what I'm getting at. This is how we import them. When we export them, right, we put them in the curly braces, meaning we encapsulate them within an object. So what we're doing here is we're destructuring them from the object. So when we go down to this next lesson and we import a default export, the main thing that we just have to note is that we don't have to destructure it. We can just import it directly. We can just say import add from the file name. Again, the dot slash, if you watched the previous lessons, the quotes, when we say from these quotes, this is a file path. So this could be a link online. This could be a file, you know, deep within our hard drive. Or in this case, this is dot slash math underscore functions dot JS. This is a file in the same directory. We know that because dot slash refers to the same directory that our editor has open. Dot slash is always the same folder. Okay. So the main thing here is that once again, as you can see, the ad is not surrounded by the curly braces. I interpret that as we're not destructuring it because we did not encapsulate it within a uh, object when we exported it in the first place. Because it's default, we didn't have to do that. Um, so we don't have to do that when we import it. It's just one of those things with importing, exporting. You have to remember whenever you're importing anything, always encapsulate it within the, the curly braces. So destructure it from, from the file, basically. But in this case, because we're importing the default, we don't have to do that. It's still a good practice to always, always do that, to always put it within the curly braces. So in best practice, I would say it would be good to say import, uh, subtract from and then again it's going to be from math underscore functions dot js which it says is found in the same directory so the same folder so dot for the same folder and then the file is at slash math functions dot js so this is how we would do it in my opinion best practice but because we're doing a default we actually don't even have to do this part we can just say import subtract from math functions.js because it's a default. That's what they're trying to convey here. But what I'm trying to convey to you is that I would say it's best practice to just get in the habit of always encapsulating this, whatever you're importing, always destructure it like that, always take it out of the object. So that's how I'd say it's best practice. But for this lesson, to pass it, to show we understand what we're doing, yes, we don't technically have to destructure it when it's a default. So that's all we had to say for that one. Uh, math functions subtract from math function plural functions.js and there we go. So I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions, please do leave comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And I hope to see you guys in the next lesson.